Good morning, lads and lassies, I guess. Time for a little serious talk here because, um, yeah, I've hit kind of a roadblock with the save and, uh, well, it's mostly with this thing and I I'm still committed to wearing it, which kind of sucks because, um, yeah, I say good morning because it's 7 a.m. in the morning here. I've been up for a few hours. I even showered and got ready for everything, but, uh, yeah, it's already 21 degrees at 7 o'clock in the morning. I am sweating and that's before I put this thing on. So it is painful, it is terrifying doing the save, and yeah, so sorry for that, it, that's literally why I'm not recording as many op uh, episodes nowadays, I just can't be bothered really, so, I don't know, no one seems to be watching it, but YouTube says there's viewers here and there, so if you actually are watching these, <clears throat> well, and enjoying them, I guess, uh, please, like, press like, and maybe write a comment or something, I was here when it all kicked off, because, I don't know, at the moment, it's, hard finding the motivation when no one watches and this is what I have to deal with in this sort of heat and uh, yeah and also this screen I guess 254 uh, million in the back I mean I can even make it 288 <coughs> million transfer budget of course that's what you're gonna get when you only can buy Dane's players but um yeah <sighs> let's get into the episode before I actually die of heat so yeah so friends and foes and whatever to some more Danish Dynamite with your host with the most I guess Mr. Are You Crazy here the Viking Overlord uh, sweating like a pig sadly uh, yeah last time we met was uh, it was very disappointing and very infuriating it was of course the absolute battering we took from Bayern and then United as well um, <clears throat> I only played the two matches after that luckily I did win both of them the Brighton one was maybe a bit too close but uh yeah it was a bit of a weird one. I mean, as you can see, we scored in the second, 22nd, 25th minute. So it was like, hmm, this is easy. And then they scored on a penalty. Which is absolutely. And then they equalized just before halftime. Well, you know. And yeah, it was pretty terrifying. But we did win at least. But um, yeah, today we're going to play Burnley and Sheffield United. And then I'm thinking I just want to get rid of this season. And then maybe even put the thing on pause. I don't know. As my scout is coming out of shower. I don't know if you were scouting in there. But... Oh, it's 25 degrees. Oh, like 25 degrees. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, imagine that. As soon as, well, it turns into like 40 degrees or something during the day. So hang on a moment. Yeah, I'm already sweating. So it is terrifying. But yeah, and then we're going to wrap it up with, I don't know, well, Fulham Everton, I guess. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll put the thing on pause a bit and then do something else. I'm not quite sure, but uh we shall see, but at least I want to finish this season and hopefully finish it strong because, yeah, we are, if I remember correctly, still fourth. And um, I guess we need to kind of solidify this position because Chelsea are definitely going to run away from us and United are just, well, United. But as you see here, it is a pretty, pretty nice run in, right? It's not too bad. So, um, but um, instead of all this waffling, let's just jump into it as I'm being hit by lightning here. Not lightning, lighting. The sun is literally in my eye. I'm gonna have to try and fix this. Okay, that that is that's a little better, but you can see a line. <laughs> so yeah, but let's by all means pretend that it's lightning. That sounds a lot more cool than it. Team selection, let's get into it. Now, as my eyes need to adjust. I I got proper blinded there, what the heck? Anywho, of course Sten Robin goal, Leonard Jensen at right back. Gonna give him another chance, I guess. Clesterson, Hansen, Paulson. So very familiar. Nati, Hoybia, Benjamin Jensen, Von Larsen, Damsko, uh, Fagia. So pretty much strongest eleven, except maybe you would start Jakobsen because, I mean, I definitely would because he randomly just plays better than Leonard Jensen. But yeah, let's just jump into it. Let's 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 win. Let's get some positive attitudes instead of what happened in the last episode. Right, and we are on the way. Hell, in I don't know, but uh, yeah. I hope you're enjoying it and all, because, uh, well, I'm enjoying the save. I'm not so much enjoying the recording of it all and uh, the whole ordeal behind it. And uh, I will say it's also, like, now the Euro Cup has finally ended. Sad face for the Danish fans, but I think we can be proud of ourselves. I think we can be very proud. Just, oh, I hate the fact that we went out on such a thin penalty. Like, oh, let's just go to penalties. Take it from there. But uh, 
I guess Italy kind of ven avenged it, so there's that. I mean, I'm glad I'm talking about this because literally nothing is happening. Apparently we are, well, I guess it's actually very even, but Benjamin Jensen just won the ball, and Fagir is, is this really the highlight? Pardon me. <laughs> uh, Pope just launched it forward there, and we luckily win it, so we're going to build a bit from the back. I mean, let's just not do anything silly. Of course, Damsko and Hoibe are the two revelations from uh, Denmark. Well, two of them, I guess. One last goal still there. And Mele, of course. Mele was like my hero, my, my low-key uh, player of the tournament. Our right-back that plays left-back. He was just extraordinarily good. Got, I think he got one goal, or was it two goals? Maybe two goals. But the assist versus... Uh, I can't even remember. It was versus Czech Republic, I think, where he just, with the outside of the foot, just launches it in and Dolbe uh, puts it in. Speaking of Dolbe, he had a great Euro Cup as well, but yeah. Congrats to Italy, I guess. They kind of out-muscled it. They just... Ooh, as Kuhn Larsen brings us 1-0 up. Good, 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 good. But yeah, Italy just kind of turned on their experience, I want to say, and did, well, Italy things, right? And it was always going to be difficult for England, even though they probably had the better players. I think they had a better squad, but it's just... They, Italy just have that aura around them, right? It's like Germany. It's that well-functioning machine kind of thing, and it's very difficult to beat. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, as I'm just waffling, um, things can go better, sure. Let's say that one. It was recommended by my assistant manager, so why not? <clears throat> okay, we start off immediately with a corner to Burnley, of course. This is kind of a specialty of them, but no, 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 we are... Possibly doing a counter. Ooh, Dumps goes in. Oh, there's an overload over here. Go on, find someone. Ah, it's not quite good, that ball, but... Okay, Leonard, yes. With nice recite. Go on, Hoibia. Yes. Okay, now I feel a bit more confident. Well, I guess that too, but I was going to say comfortable. As I, in real life, get stuff in my nose, so I'm not comfortable at all. That is a load of lies, I'm saying all of a sudden. Or maybe the universe is just trying to tell me something. At five, yeah. I mean, it's a great finish, and the goalkeeper literally looks the wrong way. It's just funny. <clears throat> okay, Burnley now with a patented uh, start of highlight throw-in, and Patterson is driving it forward. Oh, good block from, uh, I guess, who was it? Damsko, actually. Nice defense. Go on, he is so open there. What the, what the heck happened? What was that? Focus, lad. Actually focus. So the first strike, Appia, was so open, and then the other dude is completely unmarked as well, which is not good at all. Let's just see this again, because it was a bit weird. Like, he's just, like, how is he that open? And then both of them kind of run towards the ball. So this Mar Mathias guy is completely open as well. That is not good defending. Right, Paul's with the free kick. Go on, lads. We can do... Whoa! What the heck? So Paulson just killed the Pope, basically. Uh, not Paulson, sorry. Hoibia just killed the Pope. Smashed it in, in his face, I think. Let's see this. It's off the bar, right? Bonk <laughs> in the back of the head of Pope. That is very unfortunate from Pope Francis. Is it Francis right now? Yeah, I think it is Francis right now, right? I, I, I can't pretend to be some sort of Pope expert, but uh, yeah. Uh, as we may actually have a counter... Uh, that was great defending from Cher, actually. If he didn't get that tackle right, he was completely in. But, um, I mean, I don't like the fact that there's a highlight straight after the goal, and they seem to... Christensen, you've already made terrible defending in the game, and now you're getting yourself sent off. That is not good. Not good at all. Well, I'm going to do my patented... Who do I have? Victor Nelson. So I'm going to take off my AMC, Benjamin Jensen, and then just put uh, Victor Nelson down here. Uh, let's make him, uh, yeah, ball playing. Why not? Oh, play, yes. And then you shout, demand more! And they somehow work harder. If you demand more when it's 11 versus 11, they, their like, morale just goes mental and they become angry. Up here is in now. Good to save themselves. But it does work when you're a man down. Right, 70 minutes gone, and Fakir has not had a good game. So let's get him off. But who do we want to put in? So I could put bun Bungo in, but he's not very fast. And I kind of feel like we need a fast boy. So let's put in uh, Christian Rasmussen. 16 acceleration, 16 pace. That is just what you need in a situation like this, right? And let us demand more as soon as we can. There we go. Okay, 78 minutes gone now. There's a chance, but I really want to make a... Go on, please win that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I want to make a change, but let's see this highlight. I don't know. We shall make the last... Ooh, substitute. 
constitution. Why didn't he actually like run for it there? That was so half-hearted. Ah, oh, this has Burnleaf Gold written all over it. Why? What are you doing, Narty? Why do you run away from him? Ah. Uh, okay, find the guy down here. Please. Damn, let's go. I want it. Okay, hoibia. Okay, launch it. So there, there we go. The pace. Is he gonna? Ah, oh, it's a very, very strange angle it went up. But yeah, I mean, my theory just, uh, whatever, got put into practice there. I wanted someone fast. Uh, I'm the, I, I have no idea what I'm saying. Damp score is struggling. So let's put Bornlausen over there and then put uh, score over here. Let's put him more supportive though. In very winger, can they both? They both kind of like that. So yeah, let's make the wingers a bit more supportive and then let us also waste a bit of time. Actually, let's just do it all the time right now. Oh no, I accidentally pre clicked no pressure. Oh no, oh no, that's not what I wanted to click at all. But uh, yeah, we somehow have the ball, right? Well, we had the ball until we did that. But um, that was pretty stupid. I guess the, the no pressure thing isn't actually turned on yet or whatever. Like it, oh, come on. What the heck is that? Just to see this match out, please. It's saying go very defensive. Actually, I will now. Oh, I thought it was a... But yeah, uh, no. I mean, surely no time to to worry about the result. But at the end of the day, I kind of don't want to lose three two. Then it looks like it looks even kind of thing. And um, I guess stats suggest it has been pretty even. But I guess that is to be expected when you play thirty five minutes with a man disadvantage. But uh, yeah, let's just finish this one out. Okay, are we gonna just? Is it a fight? It, yeah, I think it's side. It did look a little bit of side. Landsman is not doing anything though. This is all the ref, so definitely, definitely corrupt ref. But uh, yeah, this should be that, right? Just end the game, please. Like, we don't need, we don't need to see this. It's ninety-five now. Just blow the whistle, blow the whistle. <laughs> yeah, Leonard Jensen, good, good professional free kick there. That's fine. Can we just like end the game already? I'm I'm bored of this match. Get me out. Even burn what? What? I'm seeing some sort of highlight now. Oh, I mean, it actually was upside. It did look upside, so um, I mean I can't complain too much. But uh, yeah, nice win. Actually, very nice win. Three, one winners of Wade Burnley. Never an easy place to go. But uh, yeah, let's uh skip forward to it was Sheffield United. Thank you, thank you. I do have a little bit of memory. But uh, oh, as Apparently he wants units in scope. I mean, you can probably have him. But, so, um, yeah, we'll see. So, uh, yeah, be right back. Right, and we are back for some Sheffield United time. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's literally going to be the same squad, except, of course, I had to put uh, Victor Nelson in instead of the now suspended Andres Christensen. Um, but, yeah, other than that, I mean, I pulled this guy up to our first team, actually. He's been progressing really well in training, I keep saying. And, uh, yeah, he looks very promising. I mean, he can't finish for Toffee, but I am training him as a, as a striker. But so bloody rapid. But, uh, yeah, I pulled him up so he can start being mentored and stuff. And I can start training him properly. So, um, hopefully he will develop. But we shall see in the future. Right, and into the match we go. As, um... I don't actually remember, but I kind of have a feeling that Sheffield United past meetings. Uh, okay, I was going to say we struggle versus them, but uh, yeah, we've won six out of seven and drew and drawn one. So it's because I have a different save going on as well, like a private one, like I'm not streaming or anything. I'm playing Brighton not just for funsies here and there. But um, yeah, in that one, I think I'm struggling versus Sheffield United. It's weird how you just have a bogey team, right? Every single save is different. But uh, Right, well... Literally no highlight whatsoever. That was probably the most boring thing ever. Um, of course I'm not happy. And then you have the ability to do better. I think so. I definitely think so. I mean, to be fair, they also have the ability to do much worse, I guess. But, uh, yeah. I mean, let's at least see a highlight. So, we do have a highlight here, perhaps. Okay, how about Fagia? Is he gonna... What? Uh, hello? I mean, that is uh, pretty silly to try and shoot from there. You should probably have done no more. Uh, Waveman, uh, Linesman is going bonkers with the flag as we have a free kick now. 
Okay, hi, yeah. Well, Lassen is in. Yes, nice goal there. I was just about, he's on a 6.3 so far, Bon Lassen. You probably can't see it because of the picture, but let's see how it changes. I was just about to say, let's take him off, but uh, this is a great move, great goal. Marty, and then it's Hoybia, right, with the assist. Yeah, it's a nice little pass there. And uh, yeah, pretty bad defending, to be fair. And uh, easy goal. Yeah, he immediately jumped to 7.1. So uh, yeah, now he's the best player ever. As I demand some focus from the lads, they immediately lose the ball, and now Muzet, Muzet is, Muzet is, now is, oh, don't, okay, that is terrifying, please run to the ball, okay, it's done about the goal kick, uh, we're going to build from here, of course we can just throw the ball away as well, that is definitely a possibility, but I'm adding some nice control here, okay, he wants it on the overlap, please just give it to him, nice and easy, yeah, and then cross it in, loads of people in there, Oh, that's terrifying! Why? Oh, oh, you are, you are scaring me, little friend. But um, uh, let's make a ch okay. That didn't work, I guess. Uh, let us make a change. Benjamin Jensen is not having the best game. Let's just put Bungo in there. He's a shadow striker. Why not? He loves it. Apparently, maybe sometimes. As my phone is kicking off, is that? Ooh, ooh, that was close. Musa is now in. Uh, this is the Capu well, well, well. Okay, let us actually like focus a little bit. We need to. We're losing the midfield battle here, and that is because Nicolas Nazi is having a terrible game. So deep line playmaker, defend. There we go. Now it's sorted. Throw in for us. Pose. Oh, please get to that one. Yes, good job. You let's go. Oh, that's a sneaky ball to Bunko. Go on then. Ah, Fakir. It was blocked. Block, 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 block. And speaking of Fakir, I'm gonna take him off and do the exact same as we did the last time. Rasmus up front with his pace and hope. Hopefully, hopefully we can pounce on the counter-attack or something. I mean, we can also just see it out and have a boring 1-0. I don't really mind that. This is terrifying. Of course, this is a set piece, and everyone's up. Oh, Ibia settles it. Nice goal. That was a great assist from Damsko as well. Holy moly, what an attack. So the cross comes in, and Ibia raises highs, right? That's a, a bit testing when you're 1-0 up and there's one minute left to just see stuff like that, but... I mean, great bloody goal. Holy moly, 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 moly. So, that was a great win. Well done, lads. Yeah, good win indeed. And let us see where that leads us, because I just saw we are now second in the league. But, of course, the teams around us do have some matches in hand and all sorts, so it's not as easy. I mean, Chelsea have L and United have three matches. City have one. But City, I mean, we're actually ahead of City, which is interesting. Uh, Liverpool are three points clear, but with one match, I mean, this is shambolic. What is going on in the Premier League? Right, well, I shall just play on, and like I said, we will do the last episode of this season at least, which is going to be Fulham and Everton. So, yeah, I'm going to play versus these mugs and definitely take this thing off because it is terrifying. But, uh, yeah, like I said, if you are enjoying this, if you are even just watching it, I mean, please write a comment or something, like, at least click like. Like press like or something, so I know that someone is someone out there is actually watching, and uh, that would be really, really good for my well dedication and my confidence and my just overall motivation to keep doing this because yeah, um, I love playing and I love the game and I love recording. It is fun. I love editing. I love all this, and uh, but I also hate wearing this. <laughs> so maybe I'll just do another save for now and then put this one on the back burner for a little bit until it gets more well not so hot but uh yeah we shall see but uh yeah if you liked it drop a like all that comment and uh yeah i'll see you next time